Hey everyone, my name is Melissa Ricker and in today's video I want to talk a little bit about overwhelm in your online business and how to actually move from all this information, all of this ideas in your head and actually implement them in your business. So stay tuned. I'm actually going to cut over to a Facebook Live that I did in my free Facebook group. And if you love this video, not only would I love you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, but also jump down below and join my free Facebook group. All right, so I want to know um, if anyone here, anyone watching live or the replay, let me know, like, if you felt, if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with information right now in your business, <laughs> um, I want to know, like, I just want to know if this is like a topic that's going to resonate with you because what I'm going to be talking about today is how to move from information to transformation in your online business. So, hey, Lori. Hey, Kim. So I want to know if anyone is feeling overwhelmed with information right now, like feeling like they just like you just need a um, like a flipping start to finish game plan that you can just implement in your business, like start at A, move to B and just focus on the few things or the few pieces of information that you need to start moving the needle. I want to know if you're feeling like that. Jasmine says heck to the yes. Uh, Lori says, yes, OMG. Okay, good. <laughs> you guys let me know because it's okay um, and to admit it and just say like, I feel overwhelmed with information because information is everywhere and it's almost like we get addicted to it. Actually, take out the almost. It's, we do. We get addicted to information. Uh, <laughs> yes, please. Hey, Sam. Hey, Samantha. You guys say hi as you're logging in. Okay, so I've been talking to a bunch of you guys and I've been putting out some polls and some questions and I'm asking like, what's been holding you back from moving forward in your business? What What is missing? What is like, you know, what is keeping you from launching your funnel or creating an offer or just being consistent in your business? Like, what is it? And that's kind of what inspired this topic um, along with, you know, what I'm actually doing in my business as a result of the mastermind I went on a week ago. Um, so it has a lot to do with information and what we're doing or not doing with that information. Okay. So Lori says addic addicted to shiny objects, LOL. Yeah. <laughs> Hi Jan. Good morning. Kim says, absolutely. Um, yeah, so okay, hey, good, because I want to make sure that this is this is helpful for you guys. So when I first got started as an entrepreneur, um, what was that three years ago? I can't even remember now. <laughs> um, 20, what is it, 2016, end of 2016. But when I first got started, and like even up until very recently, I thought that I had an information problem. I thought that I had an information problem, meaning that, you know, I kind of knew where I wanted to go. Um, you know, I kind of, I wanted to build up um, and replace my corporate salary, you know, which was the six figure goal. And I, you know, at first I thought that was going to be easy. Like it wasn't a stretch goal. It was just like, I'm going to make that happen. Right. And then even this year, 2019, like that was my same goal. Like, uh, have you guys ever felt like Groundhog Day? Like you set the same goal over and over again because you didn't even come close to meeting it? Because that was me. <laughs> hey, Jessica, good morning. Hey, Carolyn. Stephanie says, I've been there, but OFA has changed everything. Oh, I love hearing that. I love hearing that, Stephanie. Um, Jasmine says, I can answer anyone's individual questions, troubleshoot, whatever, and be super helpful, but I have issues implementing all of the steps for myself. Yes, for yourself. Um, okay, so uh, I had this goal um, to hit six figures, right? And I set it in 20, whatever, 2017, and it was like, oh, I'm going to make it happen. And then 2018, I'm going to make, you know, happen. And then 2019, it was like it had become like this stretch goal. It felt like it like it was kind of impossible. Like it felt kind of crazy to, to, to set that goal again for the third time because, you know, at this point I had struggled for you know two years to even cover the cost of our nanny you know and i had to go out and find freelancing jobs just so i didn't have to pull money out of my savings account each month like i had to bootstrap it 
But I thought that if I could just get my business to that level, you know, to that six figure level, if I could just get my business to the 10K months, like it would be everything. It would be everything. That's what I thought. And of course, I've come a long way since then. And, um, you know, the past several months have been well over that 10K mark. And now I'm able to set higher and higher goals. Um, but it was because, like, I thought I had an information problem, okay? And I like to set income goals, you know, just because they're black and white. Some people really don't like to set income goals. I like to because it's like you hit it or you didn't. Like it's measurable and you can do something about it. <laughs> um, but that that's just me. But in my long journey, because it was a long journey to get to those 10K months, the entire time I thought I had an information problem. Like I thought that if I just had the right strategy, I could get where I wanted to go. Like I just needed that, 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 that right strategy. Like that was it, the missing piece to hitting six figures. And when I felt like, I don't know, let me know if, if you've ever felt like that, like you're just missing the right strategy. So here I am like thinking that I need to find this right strategy. So what do we do? We go hunting for it. I went hunting, right? And hunting and hunting. And I just started purchasing a bunch of courses and hiring some coaches and watching like binge watching YouTube videos and reading every book I could get my hands on. And I ended up following like, so many gurus, um, all these people online and wanting to implement everything, but actually implementing nothing, (laughs) nothing. Has anyone else ever felt like that? Jessica says, yes. Uh, selling cinnamon rolls to pay for click funnels. (laughs) I love it. You're bootstrapping too. Uh, Ben says third time's a charm. Yeah. Um, okay. So I, I just thought like, I just needed one more thing. Okay, one more piece of information. So I don't know, like different parts of my journey, but it was like, oh, it's just because I, I am missing the Facebook ads. Like I just need the fa- to know how to do Facebook ads. So I'd go and try to find something for Facebook ads. And then it was like, oh no, I need to, I need to do a webinar. So now I need to learn how to do a webinar. That's what was missing, right? <laughs> and then it was like, oh no, 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 no. It's what I'm selling. It's my offer. Like it, it it's too expensive or it's not expensive enough and my website's not pretty my branding is not on point like my copywriting isn't good enough like and then it was like oh the facebook ads didn't work let's try pinterest like it was i was hunting for information and i couldn't stop i couldn't stop like i was addicted and unfortunately what was happening is that i was buying um or reading or watching a tiny piece of the puzzle from one person and then another from another person and i had all these like these little pieces to a strategy that, and they didn't, it didn't mesh up well together. Like it was just piecemeal together. And what I really needed was like a comprehensive strategy where everything fit together, like a clear and clean path where to get me from where I was to where I wanted to go. Okay. And when I didn't have that, I was trying to duct tape (laughs) all these pieces together, you know, like the good engineer that I am, like using duct tape. And I thought I had an information problem, but what I needed was like the start to finish solution that actually provided transformation. But there's a whole other level on top of that. Like there's mindset, accountability, and actually executing, right? Um, What I learned from the the ClickFunnels um, mastermind, mindset, skill set, tool set. Like we don't have an information problem. Like we have more information than we know what to do about. Like we we have more information than we know what to do with. Like we literally have so much information available to us, you know, on the internet, YouTube, courses, everything. We have so much information. Totally me, says Jan. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, Kelsey. Hey, Sydney. Hey, Joe. Hey, Myra. Hey, Tara. Glad you guys could join. We're talking about Uh, being addicted to information and how to move from information to transformation in your business. So hopefully this is helpful to you guys. But think about this. Like I was talking to my husband about it. Uh, We were talking about putting the the boys, like when we're going to put them in um, sports, you know, or find, you know, something for them to do. And like, if you wanted to learn how to play a sport, like, I don't know what soccer, baseball, um, swimming, it doesn't matter what it is. But if you wanted to learn how to play soccer, or you wanted your child to learn how to play soccer, right? Um, Hey, Joy. Jan says, hashtag ditch the duct tape. (laughs) 
I love that. I love you, Jan. Uh, but if you wanted to learn how to play soccer or you wanted to let your, learn your kid how to play soccer or teach your kid, like you might read a book, um, you might watch a video, you might watch a bunch of videos, but would you actually think that you could go and watch a bunch of videos or take a, um, a course, like a video course about learning how to play soccer and then know how to play soccer? Like, do you think you could read a book about soccer and then know how to play soccer? No, like, of course not. Like, you got to get get up and go practice, like, over and over and over again. And our businesses are, are no different. Um, but we think that they are. <laughs> we think they are. And I've been so guilty so many times. Like, nobody would expect themselves to become, like, this world champion soccer player after going through a video course or reading a book or watching some YouTube videos or even like a full season of playing soccer. That's mostly unrealistic because it's a skill set and it's also a mindset. You know, athletes have some of the most rock hard mindset out there, okay? But that's what we expect from our business, like especially like in the online world. And when it doesn't happen quickly, like we fool ourselves, I mean for certain, I was fooling myself into believing that I needed more information when what we actually need is execution of the right information. And um, you guys tell me if this is helpful to you guys. <laughs> I'm just kind of on a rant today. Uh, but I had someone message me yesterday and I've been, you know, I've known this, this woman for a couple of years now. No, yeah, a couple of years now. And she messaged me yesterday and she said, like I had a year to make big things happen. I had a year and it didn't, it didn't work. I didn't, it didn't happen for me. So I have to let it go. And she said, my road has ended. I don't know if she's on here or not. Um, but she said that to me. She said, my road has ended. And this woman has so many amazing gifts to offer the world, but because her funnel never got launched, she didn't make any money. So she's giving up. Right. And I was like, how can your funnel work for you if you don't launch it? <laughs> And how can you launch a funnel without a good offer inside of it? And how can you come up with a good offer if you don't believe in yourself? And she thinks that she has an information problem. And the real problem is not a lack of information. The real problem is transformation, right? Real results, getting real results. And that getting real results and transforming takes more than just information, like so much more. Accountability, support, mindset, like way beyond what you could get from an ebook or a YouTube video or even like just a course by itself. Um, and My Myra says, super helpful. I'm a collector of information. Yes, I am too. Like I wish that I could count. Um, if you guys know how many courses you bought, let me know. But I have so many courses, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of courses. <laughs> I'm a course collector. Um, execution of the right information. Yes. Hey, Melissa. Okay, good. Uh, Jan says, I need help with strategy. I have the tools. Yeah. I'm, okay. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Um, but it goes like true transformation goes beyond information. So we don't have an information problem, right? It, it, it takes more than that. Like it, it takes someone to meet you where you are, right? And you know, almost take you by the hand and coach you through this process while also holding space for you to screw up, right? And not allowing you to give up when you screw up, right? And then you learn from it. And, and to be able to say like, well, <laughs> you know, that webinar totally flopped or whatever you did, like that Facebook Live totally didn't resonate. Like being able to like look at, at what you did and say, what didn't work about it, right? And that's, that's what I want for my clients is to be able to go through that transformation. And I'm sure, is that what you want for your, for your clients too? Like your customers, like, um, Hey Faye. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I spent, I spent like $25,000 last year on coaching and courses and it was horrible. I was addicted to information. So I totally feel you. Kim says at least 10. Uh, yeah. Cindy says same here. Hey Faye. Good morning. Um, so when people, I know that that's what, that's what we ultimately want. Okay. So we're sitting here, we th we're thinking that we're having an information problem 
but we're also trying to get results for our customers or our clients and they are in the same boat they think they have an information problem so i know that that um you want to help people transform right to change not just give them more information so when when people come to me like i don't want them to just want more information because we got plenty of that like i want them to come to me to have their lives changed and their businesses transformed okay so whatever it is that that you're selling like it could be you know your customers come to you to have their health transformed or their you know their weight and their bodies transformed or their confidence whatever you know whatever it is you're selling but we we i know that we all want someone to hire us because they're ready to make a change and the key word there is change like i don't want to just be a teacher <laughs> i love teaching but i don't want to just be a teacher because most teachers offer information and i don't want to just sit here and give you data and just one little piece of the strategy i want to give you like the whole kit and the kit, kit and caboodle uh like the mindset the skill set the tool set like that start to finish comprehensive clear clean executable strategy that you can go and implement in your business because that is the only way that that your funnel is going to make you money and information alone will not get you to your dreams and your life goals like it takes that transformation and that was a huge revelation to me that was a huge revelation to me um, to know that like i myself had to transform in order to get my business to transform for 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 me to, to reach my income goals i had to transform myself so that i could help my business transform and so that i could help other people okay so now i'm like okay i want to give you know, I want to give my clients um, I, and my customers and the people who work with me like this comprehensive step-by-step -step plan that's going to take you from idea to execution because we all have these brilliant ideas, but we, we're failing with the execution of it and the continuous execution of it. But at the same time, like I want to be able to hold space for you to fail and space for you to have like a meltdown and space for you to pick yourself back up again. Like I wanna hold space for you so that you can transform, so that your business can transform, so that your funnels can perform, right? That's what I ultimately want and I know that that's what you want for your uh, customers and your clients as well, right? And um, yeah, Kristen, we're gonna kinda cover that, um, how to transform our business, right? So, so that's what I'm saying, like it goes, it, it, it's there's so much information and if you're just taking these little pieces of strategies and trying to to, to duct tape them together then it, it it's it's going to get you lost on this path right so to have one strategy right to have one to what have one strategy that includes all of the pieces that you can just go from a to b and and not have to go out on all these different tangents that is taking information and actually executing it right so for the business side of it, you know, for what I do, it goes from it goes from the the planning and like the the setup and the foundational pieces of our business that so many of us skip, you know, that important step that we skip. Uh, it goes from that to the offer creation. That's going to be the the irresistible um, offer for your audience um, to creating your online presence, you know, and building your list and, and building your brand and and then the funnel strategy for your offers and figuring out, you know, which funnel is is best suited for, for your business and for your offers because it's not cookie cutter. There's a formula, but it's not cookie cutter, right? And then launching your funnels with that perfect offer that's designed for your perfect audience, you know, and then fulfilling that, right? I mean, that's the entire picture. That's the entire picture. It's not Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, um, how to blog, how to do SEO. Like it's it's one, I mean, there's so many different strategies, but what is one strategy that you can implement from A to B? Like that's what I wanna help people, right? Sorry, I don't know what happened out there. There's a meltdown going on out there too. <laughs> um, so what I that is what I want, right? Um, Jessica says, I have lots of duct tape here. Hey, Katie, good morning. Yeah, you'll have to go back and watch from the beginning. Um, Joe says, I love this topic. I've spent tens of thousands on courses myself. Oh, I'm glad I'm not alone. I'm so glad that I'm not alone because I was afraid to admit it. Like my husband, my husband doesn't even know how much I've spent. <laughs> Anyways, like, um, but here's the cool part of it. Here's the cool part of it. Here's where 
we can set ourselves apart from all of our competition because it's actually, it's the fact that there's so much information out there, it's a good thing for me. And it's a good thing for you if you also want to help people with true change and transformation in their lives. Like it means that there's this massive opportunity in so many markets, like every market, right? Whatever it is that you're trying to do, whatever it is that you're trying to sell, because the vast amount of people in my market and in your market are going to be selling information, not transformation, right? And people are starting to realize that they don't want that. They don't want that, right? So how many, um, you know, countless books, that I'm sure we've all purchased countless books. Like how many courses have you bought? We've already had people, several people say that it's tens of thousands of dollars worth of courses. And are you where you want to be? Have you transformed your business? Like, so maybe the problem, maybe the problem is that you don't need to know something, but that you need to do something. <laughs> I mean, think about that. Like nothing happens until something moves. Nothing can happen until something moves. I mean, that's like um, basic uh, science, physics there, uh, right? Nothing can happen until something moves, okay? So until you put into practice what you've learned, like nothing's gonna change, right? So what happened to me this year that was different than last year? Well, I, 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 I kind of, I started doing a lot of things. Um, practicing, taking action and doing and failing and, and falling down and, and crying and melting down and then getting back up and redoing it. Like I had to transform my thinking and my priorities so that I could transform my business. You're gonna get there, Joe, yes. Um, oh yeah, Joy, this will be, it'll stay here in the group, yes. <laughs> You're not alone, Faye says. <laughs> I know, <laughs> thank you. Uh, it's good to know that I'm not alone because it's kind of like, hard to admit that I was stuck in this pattern of just thinking I had an information problem. Um, so Robert Kiyosaki, I don't know if you guys have ever followed him or, or um, read his books or anything, but he, he says like the simple act, this is like a quote, I'm probably going to butcher it, um, but it's like the simple act of taking the, this information that we, you know, that we learn and actually applying it in the real world um, is the difference between where you are now and where you want to be. And it's so true. It's like I could buy, I remember feeling like, oh yeah, every time I bought a course, it was like, hell yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to implement this one. Start to finish, I'm going to implement it. <laughs> and uh, it didn't. I didn't, right? So I think a lot of us are like, we kind of know that. Like we, we, we know that we have to actually do something with the information. Um, so like, what prevents us from actually doing it? Like if we know that we have to start taking action and implementing for this transformation to take place, like what prevents us? And I've been thinking a lot about it. And, you know, after talking to these, these people at the uh, mastermind and then talking to you guys over the past week, um, it's the human element, right? Uh, that's what it is. Like the reason why information like even if it's the, the, the right information, which a lot of times it's not, um, but even if it's the right information, the reason why information won't take us where we need to go is because information doesn't take into account the human element. Um, you know, information, like that course that you bought, doesn't, doesn't consider the fact that you're a single mom working two jobs and trying to start an online business so that you can have a better life for your kids, right? Um, you know, information didn't consider like all those courses that I that I purchased. They didn't consider the fact that I had just walked away from a six figure job and my entire identity. Um, I walked away from my entire identity as a successful career woman. I walked away from that to build an online business. Right. Um, information didn't take that into account. And for me to to go from employee to self-employed businesswoman took a transformation within me and information, it wasn't a lack of information, right? Information doesn't account for that. It doesn't account for like all the books that you, that you buy, that doesn't account for that you're, you know, it doesn't consider that you're, you know, you're afraid, that I'm afraid, right? Um, afraid of failure, 
uh, afraid of success, afraid to put yourself out there, afraid of taking action. And fear is what keeps people stuck where they are. Um, fear keeps us from changing and growing. And fear keeps us hunting and searching for more information, right? Information isn't gonna, isn't gonna help the fact that we're hiding. No amount of information will get you past the roadblocks that you are putting in front of yourself, right? So we all have a comfort zone. Um, so that could be an income comfort zone. It could be, um, you know, whatever, whatever our comfort zone is. But that, our comfort zone is what we can handle. Anything outside of that comfort zone is where fear is going to creep in and cause us to, to self-sabotage. And information alone isn't enough to navigate us past our fears and our sense of overwhelm, our lack of skill set, you know, um, finding a, 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 the next, the very next step in our, in our journey. Okay. So transformation is like the start to finish solution that includes all of that, like not a piecemeal of a bunch of strategies duct taped together. And think about it, like think about how you can provide a transformation for the people that you help, right? Um, because it's actually good news. It's actually good news, like I was telling you. Like, because if you can make it happen, if you can transform yourself, then you can help others transform. And then you can charge like a premium for it, right? <laughs> um, and you can come in like and dominate your space. And like even, like, even if all your competitors have more followers um, or they're, maybe they're more established than you, it doesn't matter because you can go in there swoop in and offer people what it is that they really want, which is transformation and change, okay? Not more information, even though they think that that's what they want. It's not what they really want. They want change, right? So if you can, if you can provide transformation for your audience, then you'll, you'll, you'll be able to dominate whatever, um, whatever space you're in. Like they don't want more information. They don't want to watch another video. Most people are simply afraid to take information and implement it. <laughs> it's true. And, you know, as for me, like, I just know, like, all I'm going to, all I'm working on, all I'm focusing on is my next transformation because that is all that matters. You know, um, I'm not where I want to be yet either, but I know now and I've kind of, it's not an, I don't have an information problem. I have a transformation problem. Okay. So I'm all I'm working on is my next transformation, right? So I want to know who is with me, who is ready to transform and move from information to actually transformation. Uh, Ben, Ben, I've seen your, you transforming, um, and breaking through. Yeah. Thanks for that fear, fear of success, fear of failure. Yeah. Uh, Joe says, I'm going to fail my, my way to success. I love that. Fail your way to success. Ooh, that's catchy. I like that. Um, yeah, what is that I learned uh, at, the, at the mastermind? You know, Russell Brunson was saying, fail early, fail hard, and fail often. And that's what, he, what his advice was. And it's like, wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, Myra says, my biggest holdup is figuring out what I have to offer. I'm good at many things, not amazing at anything. Yeah, that's a holdup, right? That's a total holdup. I'm ready. Me, me, please. Yes, yes, yes. Transformation. Yes. Doing lives have helped so much. Oh, Jessica, I love watching your lives. You're so real. I love it. Um, I've seen a lot of change in you too, but see what happened is like you start taking action. You start taking action. Um, Thank you, Bonnie. Hey, I didn't even see you on here, Bonnie. Thank you for joining. It's about the transformation, right? So a week from today, I'm going to be holding this, this new training class, uh, a new, like uh, a master class. Um, yeah, week, yeah, a week from today, Monday. So the 26th, and it's going to be focused on like, that's the entire, that's the entire topic is like how to move from idea to execution, like from information to transformation. Like I want to give you guys something like comprehensive, like all in one strategy, start to finish with the human element included. <laughs> so something that, um, something that is not for anyone who is just searching for more information, right? Because there has to be information, but it has to be just 
enough, just enough inform information and just the right information to implement, right? Accountability, action, transformation, and getting results, right? You know, a space where you can ask yourself um, a lot of hard questions, a lot of pushing past the comfort zones, getting rid of excuses, coming out of hiding, like what, what helped for me so much and what I wanna pay forward is being able to hold up a mirror to your business and yourself and really assessing where you are now and really where you wanna go, okay? There's nothing wrong with people who are searching for an ebook, right? Or a video on YouTube, there's nothing wrong with that. But when people are searching for a book or they're searching for a video, they're probably just starting to feel the pain of the problem that they're having. Like they aren't to the level of actually really wanting to fix it. Like they're not to the level of wanting to, to put more skin in the game and, and find someone to help them get out of the spot that they're in, like yesterday, right? <laughs> it's like the curious versus the committed, right? Ready to, to bring about the necessary changes that it takes to transform your business and your lives. Like that's what it's about, moving from, from idea to execution. I have heard you guys, I have heard so many, so, so many good ideas out of this group, out of the people that I've met um, in the past four or five months. Um, I have seen so many ideas that are really good. And I've seen like just a small percentage of them actually start to be executed. And so I want to have this like extra masterclass completely free, super excited about it, but it's gonna be like how to go from idea to execution. So it's gonna happen next Monday. Um, so I'm gonna drop the link here in the comments uh, after I get off here and go ahead and register for it. I've been, I started putting together the content um, after I had this idea last week about seeing where people are getting hung up in their business and um, seeing that it's like, it's those things. It's like you're getting hung up in information and not actually implementing what you're learning or you're confused about what, to, what information to implement. Um, you're trying to duct tape all this stuff together. And so I want to give you a like start to finish strategy with the human element included that um, can take like can actually move the needle, right? Nothing changes if nothing changes. <laughs> it, nothing's going to change unless something moves. And so that's kind of what has, has inspired this. So um, I'll thank you. Jessica says imperfect action. Oh my gosh. Um, it's all about taking imperfect action. Like, it's, I still have to, 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 to convince myself sometimes to take action um, and be okay with it if it's not, if it doesn't go well. Um, so yeah, it's all about just taking action, moving the needle, moving the needle, but also knowing like what action to take, like what's gonna get you the most bang for your buck? What's gonna get you results, transformation, get you out of your own way? Um, yeah, so cool. Lisa says, I spent so much time learning by doing, that gives transformation. Absolutely, learn by doing, learn by failing. Good morning, Lisa. All right, so Cindy says, I have information overload. Yes. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Oh, wait, Stephanie's, <laughs> oh, well, Stephanie says, loving your lives, Jessica. Jessica's lives are really good. All right, um, okay, I'm gonna drop the link here in a minute. Oh, cool, Chrissy, queen of imperfect action. I love that. Just got to live, lean into it now. Um, yeah, you totally do. And it's something that you have to work on every day. So anyways, I'm holding this, for the, the free, this free masterclass a week from Monday. You do have to register for it. I'm not going to do it here in the Facebook group. I'm actually going to do it um, away from the Facebook group for a, the specific reason is that, um, you know, I, I do want to call out the people who are more looking for change instead of more information. I know that I have a ton of people in this Facebook group who come and they watch my lives and they never say hi. They never, um, I don't even know that they're there, but I know that they're they're watching. And you know, I want to, to, to push you out of your comfort zone. So we're gonna move this masterclass outside of, um, into an actual, you have to register, you have to come outside the Facebook group and that'll happen a week from today at noon so august 26th at noon central time i'll drop the link so you guys can register and um 
Yeah, I'm super, super excited about it. Yeah, she really is a natural. Hey, Audrey. Thanks for joining. We're just um, wrapping up. Hey, Brooke. All right, so you guys, um, I'll drop the link. Make sure you register for it. Um, <laughs> I love all the relationships that have been built. I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. Uh, all right, um, so I'll drop the link. You guys can register for it. And um, I just want this year to be all about implementing. Um, you know, I got that message yesterday, and it made me, it made me really sad that that so many of us um, are stuck there. And I know how it feels because I have was stuck there for so long, stuck in information gathering mode. And it's a painful place to be, um, to be in that place of like indecision and, you know, not taking action. Like it's a really painful place to be. And I know that so many of us are very passionate about our businesses, but we're, we're tired of not seeing the results. And it's so easy to to just go hunting for more information. So I kind of want to help you stop that cycle the same way that like I've kind of stopped that cycle and to find one strategy, start to finish and um, implement everything. All right. <laughs> You're welcome, Kristen. Oh, that's okay, Bonnie. You'll, um, you can watch the replay. I'll have the replay. All right, you guys. Um, so it's a kind of a short live today, but um, I just want to get you guys excited about that topic because I really feel like when we when this group of people that I've met and I've seen your ideas, if we can start to move from idea to execution, you guys are going to blow it up because there's so many talented people here. There's so many good ideas. And, um, I think the action is what's missing. So let's make it happen. I'll see you guys. Um, well, we'll see each other before then, but <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys live in that master class next week. If you can make it, um, if not, you can catch the replay, but make sure you register because again, it's not going to be here in this Facebook group. <laughs>